Hello Youtubers! Well, it's nice to see that at least somebody is realizing the problem. This video is uh, Trump announcing his attack on Syria and a lot of dislikes. But in this alternative mainstream media, we have a problem. For example, we have Brennan, which seems many times lucid, but sometimes it's not. That's I don't know what's the problem here, but let's look at what he, his opinion on the so-called Third World War. Let's listen. Another shrimp on the barbie. We're here in Tennessee, goddamn. You know, it's heating Africa. <laughs> Everyone's still here? Where's World War Three? Alex, where's World War Three? <sighs> well, let me check out the window. No, 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 global thermonuclear fireballs, nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. Buy my tangy tangerine. I. So, he is the person that seems to, which I concur with him, because the Jews don't want to destroy the world, that's not profitable, because they need people, that's correct, but let's listen of, uh, let's see another expert, this is Johnny Gett, I also like his videos. So his video is more neutral, but pointing out that this is uh, basically um, an operation to hide uh, real um, news and real information and real things happening on the backstage, especially with Israel. But it doesn't, he also exposes Putin. And then we have Ken O'Keefe. And Ken O'Keefe, let's listen for his opinion on the Third World War. Known for a long time, I'm certainly not the genius in the room who figured this out, but I'm one of the people who's been sounding the alarm. The powers that be want a Third World War. They want a Third World War. The incentive and motivation for them to have a Third World War has been there. For many years and I have my own ideas as to why it has not happened to this point uh, but that gets into conjecture and opinion that I think really uh, takes us away from the point the most important point which is this is a very dangerous game being played so for him the third world war is very plausible it's a dangerous game this and that and he doesn't point out that Putin is also a puppet, they are all puppets, they have sent uh, no, hundreds, hundreds of years to prepare all this, they are not stupid, at this point they control all the political narrative, so my question here is, are these guys being separated on purpose? and don't join up and realize the conclusion because truth is coherent or are they doing each one his role i leave that question to you what's your opinion i have my opinion slightly formed since they have a problem they need to be coherent and some people here are not so coherent as others so, who is genuine? That's my question. Peace.